Don't bother with anyone. Just take care. Oh. What's all this? I thought you said you wanted water. So is this how to be? I, what from this? Wait, you can't. Just sit. Yeah, you can sit down. You can sit. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. But what, what really brought about the accident? Okay. I don't know what happened. Then I realized I was in the hospital. I'm so fortunate, I can't see now. How am I going to manage my business? Just don't think about the business right now. I mean, we are thinking about your health and you're here thinking of So will I always be in the house? It's just a matter of time. I mean, this is just something that's going to come by. And the doctor said you'll be all right, so... So one wait. day. I can't wait. I can't wait. I know, but... Ali? Ah, babe? Yes? Why? Where are you? I'm here, Mama. Wait to town. You're going to town? Yes. What are you going to do? That's no eating. Matter. Yesterday, since I came out, no eating. Where are you going? Can't you have to get me something and eat? Oh. I'm hungry. I don't really have time to prepare anything. What do you mean by I don't really have time to prepare anything to that? No, I mean I have to go to work. I can't spend all my time and my time here. Oh, so you mean I should be in the room all day, not eating, without any food? So what do you expect me to do? Babe, where did you stand for this? <sighs> I'm pleading you. Can you just get me a glass of water? You want a glass of water? Yes, please. Like, right now? Yeah. Okay. And when are you getting your food? Don't worry about the food. I'm just bringing you a glass of water. And here is your glass of water. Don't bother with anyone. Just take care. What's all this? I think you said you wanted water. So is this how to be? I, what from this? When did you start all this? What have I done? Oh, so look at the way you are treating me. Come on, just it's water. Just take more. You want me to waste my time on you with water? When I go, when I go to town, I'll get food, okay? Don't worry. Okay. I love you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Maybe I brought someone. You brought me? Someone to help me take care of you. Someone to help you take care of me. Yes. You mean you brought me a house help? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. How could you do that? You could have told me, babe, I'm going to, you need a house help. You didn't, you just go out there, then you bring someone, you call that person a house help. Uh, How could you do that? No, wait. You want, please go, go there. That way. You want me to tell you that I'm going to bring someone to help me before I go out there and get someone. Right. Is it wrong for you to tell me something, sir? <laughs> I mean, I'm the one taking care of you. I'm the one wasting my time on a blind person. And you expect me to come take consent from you before I go bring someone to help me. Or do you think I have all the time in this world to take care of you? Do you want me to quit my job and come stay here the whole day and take care of you? 
Anyways, don't don't get on my nerves. I I came with a good mood. Don't. Today you are fed up. I brought you something. Let me just go and get it for you. Okay. I brought you what? I'm hungry. Wait, Opiama. I can do it on my own. How can a blind person feed himself? Just open your mouth. Open it for you. Oh, 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 oh. You told me to get you something, I'm giving it to you. I'm the one, it's not madam. Oh, where's my wife? Sir, please, she went out yesterday and she's not yet back. Where did she go? And I can't really tell. She didn't tell me where she was going. You mean she did not tell you where she was going? Yes, sir. And she didn't tell me too? Mm, maybe she has her own business. What business? I can't really tell. She don't do, she don't do business in the night. Maybe we should be back soon. I came here to clean your body. He's left to let it go. I slept here? Yes, yes. Oh, God. I came here to give you a bed back. Okay. The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. Mm. I'll definitely recover. What's your name anyway? Chris Belsen. Chris Belsen? Yes, please. Nice name. Thank you. And where are you from? No, I'm from the next town. I'm sorry I talked to you as the other time because she didn't inform me that she was going to bring a new house up. I understand so, you, sir. It's nothing. It's nothing now. So yeah. I'm sorry, okay? No, no, sir. After this, can you find me something to eat? Yes, actually, I'm preparing something yes. for you. Okay. By the time I'm done, it will also be. Okay. Thank you very much. No, it's okay. Thank you. That's my wife. She wasn't like that. I don't know why all of a sudden she has changed. Maybe there's something important for her to do. I don't think so. You have to be hopeful. To have some business deal. Mm. Business deal. Mm. And you had it all night. What do you mean I had it all night? You weren't in the house yesterday night. Yeah, so once you are blind and you are not bringing any money, would you expect to bring money to the house for feeding and everything? 
So what are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you that I'm the one making money in the family now. So you don't have to question me. But you weren't home yesterday night. I know, I know when you go, when you go to work often, you come home. But yesterday you didn't come. Why did you go and sleep? And you left me all, all alone in this sitting room here. I slept here. If not Chris Bell, like I you can't. Babe, why are you treating me such a way? If not who? Chris Bell. But I mean that's her work, right? That's why I brought her here. No, she shouldn't. See, I'm very tired, okay? I'm stressed. I mean, I didn't come home for you to talk to me like this. Oh. Anyway, hey, I'm tired and you are you, instead of you to just leave me to rest, you are here talking. Rubbish Yeah, I'm going inside to rest. You understand me? You are leaving me here. Do you want me to come and sleep by you? Say. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. Say, please, you forgot to take on the sensor. You want more water? Yeah, I want more water. Hope you are getting better. I just want to see. I think you have to visit the clinic again. It's been long since you went to the Sir. You know something? No. The way you've been treating me, even my wife doesn't do such things. So that's the reason why I'm here. It's my job and I have to fulfill it. But the extent that my wife has been maltreating me, <laughs> I shouldn't be. And I don't think I can continue this marriage in with her when I recover. It should be because I know she's cheating now. That's how she has started maltreating me since it wasn't like this. It wasn't like this. That's how you've been treating me. So I've gotten to the state that I now have feelings for you. Say, Father. I have feelings for you. For me, are you serious? Can I have your hand? Are you serious? Please be open hearted. And be my woman. But sir, wife. My wife. She's not my wife. So you're legally married. She's still your wife. I'll divorce her. Because I can't marry her. The character and the attitude she has been exhibiting towards me is very pathetic. Look at my state now. Here's the state, I need more treatment. But this girl doesn't matter. She doesn't care. And you are the one doing all this. Forget about him, you might know. I understand you, sir. And I won't be blind forever. I know. We are all feeling and we are being hopeful. You get also. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I was cooking, okay. so let me get back to what I was doing. Okay. See you. I'm going to get some something. Okay, okay sir. It. 
I can see your heart beat today. Because of the food. Mm. Because of the food. It was very delicious. And it was my favorite too. Yeah, I did it especially for you. It Thank was you. a special meal for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And always welcome. You are a good cook. Thank you. <laughs> so I hope you are getting better. Yeah, sure. I'll be. Mm. I'll be. Okay, you have to talk to Madame so that I go and see your doctor. So that if there's anything you can do to help you with your sex. Sure. You know it's been a while going to the hospital. Mm. You have to go that. Regular checkups are the best. Mm. Now what is going on here? What are you doing here? You just snapped them. Aren't you supposed to be at the kitchen? Sorry, ma'am. When you have the time to speak to the maid. She's my comfort now. <laughs> Your comfort? Yeah. Oh. Explain. In what way? Explain. Explain what? How is she your comfort? How do you understand the word comfort? She's my happiness now. She's your... Happiness. Yeah, the one who has been giving me uh, Just shut up, please. Chris Bell! Chris Bell! Madam! What is going on between you two? Madam, what were you doing when you were still here? We were just talking. Talking about what? I was only asking you if there's hey, hey, I didn't hey, ask you any hey. question. I didn't ask you anything. Just shut up. I was just telling you or advising you not to see the doctor so that they do check out. That's see the doctor? I mean, he's my husband, so. You mean I don't have the Who's sense? Who's your husband? Do you really care? Did I ask you a question? Let me tell you something. I'm not blind. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I'm not blind. You can see me. I've been monitoring whatever that goes, the in and out, the ups and downs you've been doing in this house. I've been notifying everything. I'm not a blind man. I pretended to be blind. What do you think? You took me for a fool, right? I didn't take you for a fool. Why, why did you? Why did Excuse you? you. Go inside and pack your things and leave. You are no more my wife. After everything that I've done. After what? What I did mean, you do? This thing that you are calling your happiness, I brought her in here. I paid and, her. And she's my comfort now. Go inside there, pack your things, and leave. I'm not going anywhere. I think I have to go. Please, come over here. Leave here. Please, Bob. I said, come over here. Sit down. Sit down. There are no more house help. Sir. 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 Sir.